Hey there. Have you ever had a situation where you had two top downs and you wanted to connect them like conditionally? For example, if you had categories and subcategories. So based on the categories they select, you also want the subcategories to change in the other drop down. So today I'm going to solve that problem for you and I'm going to show you a really good example. Okay, let's jump right into it. So here you can see we have two drop downs. Okay, one is a category drop down and one is a subcategory drop down. The, exactly the same situation, right? And the good part about this is you don't have to enter any choices over here. As you can see, the choices are empty. Everything is taken from the database dynamically. So if you want, if you have multiple entries, it will automatically get the unique values and populate this field. Pretty awesome, right? So, and similarly, you have another column for subcategories and based on that, it uniquely gets all of that for that particular category and even this is empty even this is an empty field so let's test this in a live example right so this is the same page okay and you can see you can select let's say i select football okay and if you select football accordingly the drop down change so we have now shooting dribbles passing other etc so now let me see if i change to freestyle automatically the subcategories will change to lowers uppers and this and everything is dynamic. You just have to maintain a database and everything will change automatically. And we also make it mobile optimized. So let's say um, you want to add a session and sub sessions over here. Pretty cool, right? So if you want a dynamic conditional drop down like this, where two drop downs are connected to each other, feel free to let us know and we'll be happy to help you. See you on the call. Thank you.